everyone. Hello. And, and welcome to um, our classroom, room 26 at Echo Lake Elementary School. My name is Mrs. Adams, and I'm here today with Mrs. Jessica Deal. She is our innovative learning coach, and she and I today co um, are collaboratively um, preparing and um, executing a lesson. Um, after we finished our Virginia Studies unit on um, Native peoples in Virginia. Um, we're going to start first with a brief recap of some of the ideas and concepts that the children will need to know in order to um, do their tasks today. Um, so we're going to, we have discussed that the Native people were here in Virginia and in the United States for many, many, what, how many years? Yeah. Like thousands of years, right, okay. So the European settlers came over about 400 years ago, but the native peoples were here all throughout the country, but in, in Virginia especially, um, for thousands of years. Okay, who can tell me where the name Indians came from? Who can tell me that? Viraj. Very good. So that's exactly right, um, Viraj. Very good. Okay. Um, who can tell me the three major Indian language groups that we discussed here in Virginia? How about Fike? Tell me one. Algonquian. Algonquian. Very good. How about Alexis? Um, uh, Suin. Suin. Very good. And then the last one. How about Emily? Very good. Okay, and then who can tell me where they were located in Virginia? How about Brent? Um, Suin was located in the Piedmont. Region of Virginia, very good. And how about the Algonquian? Um, Ronan? Tidewater. The Tidewater region. And then the Iroquoian, they were kind of split up a little bit. So where did they, where were they located? Um, how about Adam? Well, some southern Virginia, you're right. And then, and then what other area? Olivia? The Appalachian Very good. Way out here, too. OK, then how about um, if we start with the Algonquian, what tribe do we associate with the Algonquian? Um, um, Adam? The Powhatan. The Powhatan. Very good. And then how about the Suin? Um, Brent? The Monacan, very good. And then lastly, how about the Iroquoian? Um, Gretchen? Cherokee. The Cherokee, very good. And if you notice the picture up here, the, the Cherokee would probably known as what? As what, um, Thomas? Um, as their like, Right, exactly, very good. Okay, um, we have learned about the Indians through artifacts, through the pottery, through the tools, through the arrowheads, because they didn't what? Write. Right. They didn't write things down. They, they told their stories orally through tra tradition. And remember we saw that film yesterday and it said that it was, um, that it was lost through, through time. And it was when the European settlers came over and then they started drawing pictures and then they're writing things down that when we really truly found more out about the native peoples. Okay, here we have um, the climate and the, and the environment in Virginia. We know that we have four distinct what? Yeah. Seasons, very good. And what are they? Does it really, is it cycle, right? So does it really matter when it starts? No. No, as long as they're what? In order. In sequential order, very good. And then of course, if you see that we have lots of forest in Virginia, so they use that natural resource to help them out quite a bit, okay? Um, we were, the Indians in this area were known as the what? Eastern Woods. Very good. And then, um, we have a mild climate. What does that mean here in Virginia? We have a mild climate. How about Alice? Can you tell me what that means? Uh, it means that summers are hot. and winters are 
okay? But it doesn't really stay hot for too long of a period, nor really, really cold for too long of a period. And then we had those in-between um, seasons as well. Okay, now this is, type, the, the, this is the part that you're really going to have to remember and apply today for your lesson. So in the springtime, what did the Indians usually do for food resources? Sienna? Hunted. Hunted and fished and what? The berries. The berries. Who can tell me about the next season, which is summer, before I even flash it up there? Ah, come on, brave souls here. Okay, how about Viraj? Which were? Squash, onions, and cherries. Very good. There you go. And then how about fall? What happened in the fall? Um, let me see. How about Adam? They harvested, they harvested the crops that they planted, and they did what? All of the stored food for the next winter. Very good. They hunted and then stored the food. Very good. OK, how about wintertime? Wintertime. How about Allie? Very good. And coal? Um, they also would put deer for deer skin. Okay. And then they ate what they had, what, everybody? Stored, Stored from fall. Okay. And then we're going to just go over really quickly. The clothing was made from, um, from animal skins. And um, then their shelter was made from the environment around them. A lot of wood, mud, bark. And um, when, the, when the European settlers came over, they did draw pictures, and they noticed that a lot of the Indian tribes and a lot of the Indian groups lived near what resource? Rivers. Because it provided? Travel. And then it was good for what? Farming. It, was, it was good for farming and fishing. Very good. Well, before we go over what you need to do today, we have several children around the classroom who have the I will statements that will explain what we are um, needing to know in order to do our lesson. So um, the three girls, you want to come on up here? Okay, go ahead, sweetheart. I will describe how American Indians related to the climate and their environment secure food, clothing, and shelter. Very good. And you can go put it on the pocket over there, okay? I will locate three Indian landmarks, Algonquian, Siouan, and Iroquoian on the map of the video. Very good. Can you go put it <coughs> in the, in the I chart? Will demonstrate, I will demonstrate an understanding of the relationship between physical, geography, and the lives of Native people past and present of Perfect. Right. Good morning, Miss Adams class. I'm so glad to be back with you all this morning. So yesterday, when I came in here, you on your own individually started brainstorming some ideas. If you flipped in your packet to this part of the paper here where we had, we wrote down what our problem was, and then where you brainstormed possible solutions to our problem today. What I'd like for you to do in your groups right now, you're going to be working together to design a solution to our problem. So who can remind everyone what our what we said our problem was for our STEM challenge today? Alexis. Um, we are designing a um, VA Virginia um, Native American to show his or her language group and tribe in the Season. Great. So we are going to be designing a Virginia Native American, almost like a paper person, um, in order to show what language group they were a part of and what season they were living in. And that's what you drew out of the baskets today before you got into your groups. So right now, what your job is, is to take the ideas that you have <coughs> brainstormed and work together in your group to start designing you're going to detail, make a detailed, labeled sketch of your design. So remember we talked about drawing the person out, saying exactly, writing down, talking with each other, giving your ideas about what could we do, what symbols could we use to show what language group this Native Amer American was a part of and what season they were currently living in. 
Okay, so your first job today is just going to be designing it out. If you look back at the very front of your paper, you'll see what materials you'll be allowed to use. So you want to keep that in mind as you're starting to brainstorm your solutions of what to do. And before we get started, I want to remind you, we're working on collaboration, right? It's part of our Henrico Learner Profile, is collaborating together. So if we're collaborating together, if we're being good citizens and collaborating together, remind me what are some things we can do as we're sitting here discussing how some of our possible solutions. What are ways to make sure that we're being good citizens and, and collaborating properly together? Um, like we can like talk how you like how the um, American Indian like will be drawn. Right, so you might want to discuss it before you actually start writing it down or drawing it out. Good, what else? Colby, were you going to say something? I was going to say um, um, communication, but that was kind of what he said. Right, but you want to make sure you're talking. Everyone needs to be involved in this, in your group, in, in making some decisions. So make sure that we're using those skills that we're listening to everyone, we're letting everyone have a voice when they're, when they're sharing. Um, and everyone kind of has some input. You might have to um, compromise in your, in your discussions, correct? Remind me, what does it mean to compromise? Does anyone know what compromise means? Do you know? Yeah, so taking kind of multiple ideas and putting them together and deciding how can how can this best work together for what we need to to, to solve our problem. So we have to you have to take the Iroquoian language group and you have winter as your season. So what are some symbols that you could use to show that they were living in winter? What are deer some skin. maybe some deer skin? Hunting. What's that? A bow. Hunting birds, maybe a bow and arrow. To show they were hunters. And then the spring hunting fish and pitch berries. So in that hot they had a lot of water because they were in the coastal plain. There's one thing and it has a cut in the center and there's one full one where there's no cut and then you slide it in and it's Oh, that was very creative. But we want to also include something that's going to be representative of the Algonquian tribe, right? So they lived in what region? Uh, the coastal plain. So what did we see a lot of in the coastal plain? Water, we saw a lot of water, so we might want to incorporate some type of maybe fishing or some maybe some type of boating that we might have seen back then. I mean, not plants. Uh, that idea, what do they generally do? We, I'm gonna ask Miss Adams. Uh, yeah. So in the fall, what did they do? They harvested what? Crops. The, the three sisters or the crops, okay, so we definitely want to include that. And then the Suen wasn't necessarily in the coastal plain, so we might want to think about some things you might find in the Piedmont region. Cardboard? Oh, some cardboard in the background and make it like kind of jagged edge. Great. I think that sounds good. From this way, so it would like yeah. the arrow. Yeah, would so hit the it when it so the arrow. Right here. So when you're, like, are you thinking you could do like backwards? Like, like, okay, try and make some final decisions about what your design is going to look like as you're actually designing when you actually get going. But you want to have a plan. It's important to make sure we have a plan before we get started. So you all had some time now to work together to come up with a possible solution to this problem. And we are going to be starting to get some materials in just a second. But before we do that, let me remind you of what is part of your criteria for this project. So your American Indian must be at least 12 inches tall, be able to stand on its own, have at least one moving part, 
Bless you. And have at least three things on it that tells who your person is without using words. Remember we talked about those are called what? Symbols. 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 Great. Extreme. Pipe cleaners. We can use part of the cardboard to make like a little back part. Yeah, it's gonna be like use like the popsicle sticks to kind of make like more sturdy. Yeah. Like what? Know what? I'll use this one. So hairy. Okay, so we gotta start on the body first. Uh, I'll do the hair. Okay, I'll I'm gonna cut. I'll do the body. Right. Me too. Yeah. Halfway. Back. We can go halfway, but not full way. Maybe we should put like a fish on this. Okay, I'm gonna get some felt. Thank you for joining us today in fourth grade, and thank you, Mrs. Deal, for all of your wonderful, innovative ideas. Um, I hope that you learned a little bit yourself about the Native of Americans in Virginia. Go, Go Dolphins!